Uh, I started stealing shit. And then I got away with it. And then I got better at it. And then um, I met some other graffiti writers that like were into stealing shit and were good at it. Not as good as me. And um, whatever, you know, started hanging out and shit. It's cool to have a, like, a name for your gang and shit, so figured Iraq was good. At stealing shit? I don't know, not, not feeling guilty, you know? Just fucking not having that look on your face and shit. No remorse. You know, I mean, what, what makes anyone good at anything? It's just, it's, just, it's just natural. It comes natural to you or whatever, so. You know, if you're not, like, too, like, uptight about it, it's going to be all right. You know, it's like anal sex. If you're not too uptight about it, it's going to be all right. It's like Boogie Nights. He had, what did he say about his dick? So everyone has their talent. It's my dick. It's my big dick. Now, I'm ready to shoot Jack. I remember what he said. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot you in the state. What? State of California? It's awesome. All right, next question. Um, uh, I did, I did. I'm not trying to put on, am I hating that much? Am I not trying to put people don't on? Don't tell, don't let them know. Yeah, I'm hating, I'm hating. I just drank mad haterade. Um, yeah, I'm just good, you know, like, I could, I could tell you techniques, I could tell everybody techniques, but um, it really, what it really boils down to is you, you know what I mean? Like, you could take a technique and like totally fuck it up. And people do that all the time. So I'm not even gonna like bother sharing it with like a whole bunch, a whole bunch of anonymous people. But um, trust, like frying pans, scuba suits, and everything in between. Seriously, like everything. I don't do it as much anymore, but I definitely still do it. I'm not paying for fucking like steak. That shit is way too easy to steal from the supermarket and mad expensive. Like cereal, like certain things I'm not paying for ever in my life. Just cause it's like, no matter how rich I get, I'm not gonna like wanna pay for like shit when I know like they're overcharging me for it, you know? Unless I can just get it for free. Unless I like, you know, just get down with, like the ill like Kobe beef dude, like, you know, and I get my, that's the way I want it, you know? So I, I get shit for you free. You eat a lot of steak, huh? I eat a lot of meat. Um, we're just trying to like, you know, I don't know, dude, like enjoy ourselves and not. Lie, cheat, steal. Yeah, you know, and like at the same time. Excess, consume, mega substance. Yeah, all that. You know? And get home by eight, you know, so you can call your mom. Blues, jazz, you know? booze, and blues. <laughs> those are good. You got yeah, more? I'm working on I'm trying, <laughs> yeah, man. Shit. Get some more of those. Um, like New Year's, you know? Every night is New Year's. This is no amateur night. We don't go out on the weekends. Ever. Yeah. It's just straight Monday to Friday. I don't know. Fucking, I don't know, man. I wasn't there. All I know is, is I didn't do nothing. I don't, I don't know what normal like is like. They're all different. I don't know. They all end up with like. They all end up in the same state of not being <laughs> yeah. able to sleep, <laughs> laying down, hating yourself. But before no. that was nice. It's like let's celebrate tonight for no reason because tomorrow doesn't matter. You know, I hate today and tomorrow and fuck it. Basically. Yeah, it's all about some right now shit. Basically, I don't know. Keep it a day at a time. You All know? about right now. That shit was the dope. <laughs> don't do that, man. Um, I don't know. I saw some kid in like school, like writing it on his paper. And I was like, damn, that shit looks ill. He was good, you know. He's like still my best friend, like Shout one of my best out. friends. Guess who? RYB, Upper West Side. No, um, he. Uh, I don't know. Like it's just something that you see and like you just want to like be a part of. It's like, why are people doing this? Why is it everywhere? What, like it's why, like, what am I not like getting about it? And like, once you understand it and you like, you know, you're like, you know, at the right place in your life and you just, you just, you're just down to fucking fuck shit up and get in trouble. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's just perfect. It's exactly what you were looking for. You can never ever like just let it go. It's just like the perfect thing. It's like, oh. I was meant to write graffiti. I was meant to be down. And then, at, and then at a certain point, you're like, oh, I hate all graffiti writers. I wish I never started writing. But in between there, it's awesome. It's also just the dopest crime because there's no, there's no financial gain from it. It's just 
the fuck are these kids doing? They're just risking everything. Well, they're going to jail and they're next to like some murderer. But what did you do? I wrote graffiti. You know what I mean? It's like for nothing. But yeah, it means yeah. so much to you that it just doesn't matter at all. This is, it's basically this is what true. it is. You this know, is try true. to think of another crime other than rape that you don't get money from. Well, when you rape, you probably dig the pockets too. Uh, so you, that doesn't you, even make sense. You, you get a little fun, sexy time. That's, you know, graffiti is just like, you know, yeah, it's... it's for it's a long fucking, time, graffiti was like, fuck, I'd rather not fuck a girl. Who cares about these girls? Let's just go paint and have good times. You know? That's what I say. I still don't even care about girls. Fuck them. Fuck the pussy. Just give me the money and the weed. <laughs> I'm getting that tattoo, like, over here or something. The act itself, yes, it's, it, 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 it's inherently political, but I think it's more, I like to reflect on, or I like to, like, you know, focus in on more of, like, the fact that, like, it doesn't happen where, like, you know, you got, like, the crazy locked-in community with, you know, all the kids in, in like, you know, the, the, the same school type of, like, you know, you know, uh, fucking, like, crazy, like, like high, like, um, you know, like, like, in close communities. It doesn't happen in, like, those types of places. It only happens in places where, like, creativity, and like, you know, freedom are allow allowed to like thrive somewhat, you know what I mean? And there's like hardship and like all the other fucking ingredients, you know what I mean? That's when you know like something's popping off right here. Wherever there's graffiti, that's when you need to open up your gallery, that's when you need to fucking open up your restaurant. You know what I mean? People know this. Like graffiti doesn't fucking just mean like a bunch of loser kids, you know what I mean? It means that the fucking can mean life. That to some extent. It, yeah, it does, but it also means that these kids are fucking like about something, you know what I mean? They're fucking going out there, they're finding, they're finding spray paint or whatever they're using to write, and they're fucking going out there and bombing for whatever reason, because they like, they have to do it, you know what I mean? They have to fucking get up. They have to put their name out there, and, and inspires other people around them to do other shit, and that's what it's all about. It's just about feeding off other people. And graffiti is the ultimate feed. Like, you just feed, everybody feeds off everyone all the time. Without even like knowing each other, without like, you know, it's just, it's just kind of, it's kind of dope. It's a war. Um, I don't know, I just picked it out of a book. I thought I saw Earshot, it's a magazine, and it said... Thrasher. Uh, I thought I saw Ear Snot and a Thrasher, it, was, it said Earshot, like the ear, like the music section or some shit like that, and I was like, oh snap, Ear Snot, got it, and I ran with it. You know, so, I mean, whatever, I just wanted something different. I had written, like, mad shit before then that didn't work out, because, you know, I was, like, really, really bad, and plus, like, they were just whack, like, I just didn't have it together. And it's not a whack tag, too, but, like, no, it's the best one out, but... You know, whatever, I, I, you know. I just wanted something different because I was like kind of like not feeling graffiti when I chose Ear Snot. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to write this word. And like, people are going to see it and they're just going to think about it. And you know, it was really innocent. It wasn't like, I'm going to go out bombing with Ear Snot and I'm going to like be like the ill graffiti writer with tag Ear Snot. I was really bummed on graffiti and I didn't want to be a part of it. And I run away from home and I was just like, whatever, like just Ear Snot. I'm just going to, you know, some stupid shit. It wasn't really fully thought out, just some shit. Your tag, your tag is pretty like lame too, but you It's been... horrible. I started writing SACE when I was 11. It was the only letters I could do because it's the easiest, wackest letters you can do when you're a toy. And then it was SACE 3, like, uh, like SACE, SACE three. is 6 in Spanish, so like 666, six, 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 ooh. And then I wrote track mark. <laughs> I tried to come, I had the same name for so long and it was such a lame name, but I stuck with it. And then I was like, this sucks. So I'd always come up with lame side tags and this guy would try to fuck with me like what? I had track mark. Renegade. What else um, did we have? Crispy White Kids. Oh, we started a crew for a few days, Crispy White Kids, but it was one white, white guy, a Dominican, and a Negro. I wasn't down. So you were I down can't, for I can't a day. Down. We would lasted for one day, man. It was your crew. So? I was trying to put you on so? to like your own little, like, you don't remember that? When I tried to do that for you? Good cop stories. No, they're, only they're all bad, bad ones. Any cop story is a bad one, man. That's just how it goes. Yeah, I'm not really trying to like relive any of them right now. They're all bad. I've, I've had everything done to you before. I've never been beat up by cops though. We had to beat a few of them down on a few occasions. Oh yeah, that, we just try that. to keep that in the past, and we don't try to really glorify yeah, that. Yeah, you that know, just leads to nothing but they know trouble. Who they but are, when they step to us, they got, they got, got a few problems. So you know. They know they got beat they down. They got kicked to the curb a few times. By a couple of kids with spray paint, and neither one of us are really trying to talk about it right now. So. You know. They got hurt a few times and their feelings probably did too, but we're not upset about it. Well, now it's cool. When we started, it wasn't cool at all. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Real when I started writing graffiti, 
It wasn't in a magazine, and there was no girls going to be sweating about, from it. It was just about it was just about being bad and just fucking doing something that you thought you couldn't even explain it, was about it because running you're so away young. From, it was about running away you're from mad home, young. You don't know why you're doing. It. You just want to do it. Shit you know and what I mean? out and taking mad drugs and not caring about it a wasn't goddamn about, thing It wasn't about all. any magazines. It wasn't about any art galleries. It wasn't about any t-shirt lines. It wasn't lines. like, we're going to design a shoe for stickers. Nike if we have 10 tags on the It right wasn't avenue. about fucking doing collabos with any shoe company or anything like that. And people, people today are like, oh, these fucking... I am fucking poor. Excuse me. I am poor. Fucking people just assume that Iraq crew is a bunch of rich kids that fucking write graffiti and do drugs. Not. I'm fucking poor. I do drugs because my life kind of sucks sometimes. And I write graffiti because it makes me feel happy in a cheap kind of way. And that's it. I don't fucking do it to cater to anybody else except other graffiti writers. Not wheat pasters. Because that shit isn't even graffiti. That's not graffiti. That's why I go over all these people that wheat paste. That's just not graffiti. It's go back cool, to art school, it's toys. It's some cool art shit. It's some cool art shit, and that is it. It's not graffiti. But it's not even cool, so it's some art shit. We'll leave you know it at I mean? that. Cost pioneered it, and then nobody like wanted to touch it until, like, 10 years later and then whatever I'm not gonna get into that but you know graffiti is one thing and then there's all sorts of artsy like street art that you know kind of feed off the graffiti people just don't get it twisted you know what I mean don't get it twisted that 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 formula is a little crazy you know but whatever I'm not gonna like you know, spend 10 years of my life like hating on that one person, you know, like just Whatever, do it. teach their own, you know, don't be yeah. bitter, be better. Times change, you know what I mean? This shit is the way it's going down right now, so whatever, you capitalize on All right, the one moves, line to sum you know it up I mean? is some live it and some love it, and that's exactly. all it is, you know? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, we take it to another we level. Like graffiti. Oh. Dude. It won't happen though. This never would happen. That would be like the worst thing ever. Oh my god. Cause then I'd have to like start like doing. Then some we'd have to like go to place. art school. Fuck. Yeah right. Yo Ben, KS, let me um, let me finish doing this interview right now, on camera. Okay KS, one. All right, peace KS Warner. That was my boy. Ben Swallow Man. <laughs> Swallow man. Man swallower. He's gonna, he's gonna hate that. <laughs> uh, awesome. Robert Crumb rules. Just because I got the Robert Crumb toilet tap, so I just figured, like, pick up my homie. Um, yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. I think that was good, man. Yeah, yeah.